All right, we are live. We've got about 30 seconds before 12 noon. And we will start our meditation at that point. If you're here, type in a little hi, name, where you're from, favorite thing that makes you peaceful or joyful, your, what you can do to bring world peace, even if it's a smile. <laughs> Let's see if I can call this up on my phone as well. Let's see if I can share this. I don't seem to be able to share it. It is 12 noon. I've got a thumbs up from Leslie. Hello, Leslie. Welcome to the group. Welcome to the meditation. You can type in the chat room where you live, what state or what country. What brings you joy? What's your greatest gift that'll help bring world peace? For me, it smiles. An orange. <laughs> and let's see here. So today, uh, Marbeth has you know, kindly invited me to share my instant meditation. I've been teaching meditation for 46 years. Hey, Ivana's here. Good morning from Costa Rica. And Estra is here. Triple hearted eyes. Thank you. Back at you. So after 46 years of teaching traditional meditation, I said to God one day that, you know, the world has changed. It's sped up. We have instant oatmeal. We have Instagram. We need instant meditation. And so I was guided to that, where you can meditate and feel difference in yourself, in your heart, in your mind, in just seconds, literally 20 seconds, 30 seconds. And I'm going to show that to you today. And then based on your comments, we can apply it. And the idea is, in addition to meditations, you can do sitting down quietly. We can do them standing up in a meeting on the way to work at a family reunion. Anytime there's a need for creativity or release of stress or vision. So here we go. So you can just come on along, follow along, put your hand on your heart. Got too many eyeglass sets here. Put your hand on your heart or your spiritual heart, either one or both. And I'd like you to think of the thing that is most important to you right now that you're focusing on so if it's your mission if it's how to accomplish something if there's an illness if there's a, um, a, a relationship challenge whether it's something you need to get over or something you're trying to expand into think of that challenge and feel it and feel it as much as you can so it should trouble feel the trouble or the pain or the um, uncertainty or whatever it is and rate it one to ten ten being unbearable okay and now i want you to with your hand on your heart think of the person you love the most in the world or the, the pet you love the most or the sonata you love the most or that place by the beach or the mountaintop Whatever brings you the most love and peace and joy, just think of that for the moment. With your hands on your heart, thinking of that love, take a nice deep breath in. Feeling your heart expand with that joy and release. And again, just feeling your heart, thinking of what you love so much. Picture yourself with the person at that location, playing with your dog. Inhaling, so much joy, so much love. Ah. All right, that's it. That's the meditation. Now think of the challenge that we were just talking about. Feel it again and see where it is on your scale. If it was a 10, unbearable. Is it a 9 or an 8 or did it dissolve? 
Hello, Christine. And for those of you who practice along, please chat in the chat room there what your experience was. How many points did your did your rating go down? And while you're typing that in, we're going to do another form of the instant meditation, and this is more for vision. And this is one that I do on my show, Talking With Our Angels. And the mission there is to show people that we have everything we need, all the wisdom of the universe, of creation, comes to us from within ourselves. And so what I'm going to ask you to do now is just take a nice deep breath, And with the intention of bringing to you what you need the most right now to bring you the most joy for the highest good, angels, higher source, intuition, God, whatever you call that, which is greater than you, please share with me now the one thing that will bring me more joy, even more joy than I have in the moment. Let's take a few seconds of silence to get an answer. All right. So please type in the chat room what you got, and then we will work on this. We have some answers. Esther says she felt her heart open and stress go down about five points. Awesome, Esther. That's really good. And all you have to do, if it goes down to, say, one or two, that's manageable, and you're welcome to leave it that way, and or you can repeat the process a second time and just once or twice, and it usually goes down to a zero or a one, maybe a two. And then that's it. You go back to your day. So if you're in a business meeting even, you can just sit there. Nobody knows. 20 seconds. Not even 20 seconds. 20 seconds was to explain it. Just hand on the heart. Feel the feel what you're feeling. Just feel the love. Release. And it's, it's done. And you're back to focusing on the meeting. Your creativity, your love, your joy. Ivana says it dropped two points. Very good. Awesome. Christine says calmness and peace are flowing through me. There you go. That's what we want, the river of peace, the river of calm, the river of joy to flow through us. And how about the angels? Did anybody get some insights about how to have more joy in your life right now? So type that in the chat room there. And now I'd like to apply this for you. So I'm very much about putting things into action and finding real hardcore 3D world success once we bring our spirit into the 3D world because that is the highest form of enlightenment. In India, they say that that there's three levels of enlightenment, of samadhi. The first is you, you realize you are eternal. The second is little by little, you see everything in the world eternal and ultimately the outside is eternal, the inside is eternal, and whatever we used to call the, the in-between, the boundary line between inner and outer is eternal, and that's the total unity, the total oneness of love, of divinity. So that's the goal, is that you love whatever it is you're doing in the world so much, you're totally at one with it. There's no difference. All right, so Ivana says, open to financial flow. So is that what the angels shared with you, that you are open to the financial flow or that they open you to the financial flow? Either one's pretty good. Esther says, more joy coming from focusing on what is going on right now in my life and what I love to do. That's so awesome. Joy is the highest form, I feel, my experience so far in life. It's just, there's no real limits to it. And joy is the active flow, the thrill of the life force coursing through us, pouring out of our hearts. Okay, so the angels tell Ivana to be open to financial flow. That is so great. So let's take this now one step further. So if, if other of you want to share what you're thinking about, let go and have faith 
be enjoyed. Terrific. So Christine, uh, Ivana, Estra, and uh, think about your next step. What do you need to do for financial flow? Or look at what you're going on in your life right now? Or how to let go and have faith? So we need to take some sort of action. And but it's an act, the first action is in our hearts and in our mind. I'm already there. And somehow we need to feel that, a vision. Oh, look, all this money's coming to me. And, and usually it's for a reason. Like, well, if I have money, I could travel more. I, could, I can help more people. I can get a car that's not falling apart. Or I can get that second house so I can bring my family there. Usually there's some sort of heart component to the financial flow because money by itself is never makes us fully happy. It's a great thing, but it's part and parcel of the spirit. So, for example, I'm my house is for sale. I'm moving, I'm packing things up. That's creating a space. That's creating an energy. And I'm all excited. I see myself in California. I feel myself there. I feel, I'm talking to my friends. I see us doing things. So that's what I mean by seeing, feeling, and taking action from that state of the abundance has already happened. The financial flow is already with us. In other words, we're not asking for it. We're not open in a sense of open for it to come be open that to see it flowing i feel that flow what am i doing in that flow i feel like i'm dancing for you ivana so i don't know if dance is in the picture for you <laughs> Esther's, what's going on in your life what do you love that's so important to do what you love and to play to find playfulness in it because that is the state of gratitude, of abundance, of, of being in the now, and the now being pure love, pure joy, pure flow. And Christine, all the angels are digging here. Only seven minutes. Okay, I'm done. Marbeth says it's only seven minutes. Thanks for joining me, folks. Joy, joy, joy. <laughs>